Is Trump the most anti-war president ever? Let's get it, baby. Oh. Dude. Let's get into it. Last night, Khabib walked up to Donald Trump and said this. Listen very carefully. Thank you, man. You know, I, I don't know. I got a little girl I love, and I got to see. I, I think this could be a Well, if it Did you catch that? I'm going to stop it. You're going to stop what? He said, Khabib walked up to Donald Trump and said, and Trump said, we will stop it. I will stop the war. And then Khabib says, I know you will stop the war in Palestine. Why would Khabib do this? Why would Khabib walk up to Donald Trump and talk about the war in Palestine? A guy that's been pretty pro-Israel. Why would he do this? I'm going to make a guess because I think Khabib probably feels the same way a lot of you and me feel. Because I think you and me feel like Donald Trump is the only anti-war-ish president we've ever had. At least a guy that wants to end wars. At least a guy who doesn't want to start proxy wars all around the world like Joe Biden does. George Bush, Barack Obama. He actually wants to end the wars. He doesn't want Americans to have boots on the ground in Ukraine. Whereas it seems like our military establishment pushes for this every single day. They're, you're seeing more articles say things like, you know what? I don't know if money's enough. Maybe we need to have boots on the ground. I feel like it's getting to the point where I feel like boomers are, they want their World War III so bad. They are willing to, right before they die, they're like, you know what? Let's give these people what they want. World War III. <laughs> we need more American military cinema now. <laughs> Donald Trump is America first, and that's the problem. That's why the establishment hates him. That's why the average corporate and media hates him. That's why so many politicians don't even like him. And that's why even people on the right don't like him, because he is not very pro a military industrial complex. They screwed him over again and again while he was president. He would try to end things. They would go around his back. Donald Trump is actually very, very, very pro-America first. And they don't like this. They don't like the idea that instead of sending money to Ukraine, they could be sending money to American cities to actually clean these cities up. To actually have affordable housing. To actually have a city where American citizens and American families could live in and feel safe see democrats are very pro chaos they love the idea of chaos just look at california the da's allow people to steal and to break laws and constantly get let back out so why even stop they allow homeless to take over entire regions if you look at liberal run cities they are very much in decay and I believe it's on purpose. And you have to ask yourself why. Because nobody's that stupid. Nobody looks at a problem that big and just says, mm, nothing to do here. Why does our military industrial complex, why do so many of our politicians turn a blind eye to what goes on in America for what goes on in Ukraine or Israel? Why do, we, why do we need to give Israel money? Why do we need to like give them rebates? Like why, why are we so fixated on other countries other than our own? Well, we can do chew gum and walk with at the same time. Do we do that? I hear that all the time by Joe Biden. Well, we can, we can help with what's going on in Ukraine and also do in America, you big dumb idiots. But we don't do that. We don't fix what's going on in America. Are American cities getting greater and better than ever before? No. Are we putting band-aids to problems? Yes. Are we lying and propagandizing actual real harm that's happening in America, like a complete open border, allowing a total influx of low-income wage earners so corporate businesses continue to not have to pay the American earners what they 
deserve. It's funny that these like pro union people, these libtards, they're all like, we should be raising minimum wage and we should be, uh, uh, giving workers their fair earning, but at the same time, they're like, let's have open borders and allow a bunch of people who are uneducated, don't have degrees, and are willing to work for whatever it takes. Let's let them come in because that'll raise the standard of living. Not for you, not for me, but for rich people that are like willing to pay their housekeeper less so they can <laughs> milk them for more stuff. Yeah, those people want. They love low income wage earners. They love using illegal migrants to work their jobs. You don't have to pay these people a decent living wage. It's the same people that still continue to vote for Democrat. It's just like, it's so stupid. But it's incredible to watch Khabib walk over to Donald Trump and say, hey, I believe you're going to stop this war. I believe that you are anti-war. I believe that you will bring about world peace in the Middle East. The minute Donald Trump becomes president, do you think Ukraine and Russia are going to continue to fight for a long time? Do you think we're going to be involved with them? I think the idea, maybe we're going to be involved with them, but to the same extent we are now, no way. I, they, he is a disruptor. He is not part of the elite establishment. The Republican Party did not want him to be president. Remember that. They don't like him. They don't like the idea of him. They will do everything in their power to make him stop. Like Republicans, the Republican establishment wants somebody like a Nikki Haley. They can control her. They can, they can tell her that we need to go to war with, I don't know, Kazakhstan. You know, let's pick some kind of insane country. We need to go to war with Kazakhstan because they hate America freedom. They hate democracy. They hate you fill in the blank. And you're like dumb Americans who don't actually engage in politics or, or, or look what's going around the world will go, oh, yeah, yeah, Kazakhstan, they do hate us. They hate us because they hate gay people or, you know, they'll just like pick something. <laughs> and then all of a sudden we're in war with Kazakhstan and we're like, I don't even know why I hate them. I don't know why we're pushing for this. And they're like, yeah, well, we just have to. We have to start a proxy war today. <laughs> and so, so many, so many people that are America first believe that Donald Trump is the only hope for World War III to slow down. And I believe that the establishment, politicians, military industrial complex, the big state, the deep state, whatever, they hate him for this reason. And those people are willing to do whatever it takes in order for somebody like this to be stopped. And that's why everyone's always feared for Donald Trump's life, feared for what was going to actually happen to him. But at the same time, we all knew he would eventually be convicted as a felon. It's just so funny that so, so many of these presidents who have actually committed crimes, you know, they are like, no one is above the law or these politicians or politicians' families or whatever. No one is above the law. While they get away with murder, they get away with doing, you know, taking from the American people every single day. They get away with abusing money that you give them or abusing your own future, willing to continuously go into debt further in order for some kind of agenda to be pushed around the world. <laughs> Everyone is sick of it. And so people, I believe the American public can see right through so many of these dumb politicians. And this coming November, it's going to be another FU vote, which was always the reason I voted for Donald Trump in the first place. I voted for Donald Trump in the primaries when he was just a guy on the stage having some moments that was just funny. But I saw a hope. A hope that we could actually have something real. You might push back. Derek, he's so full of crap. He just, you know, he's a salesman, whatever. I will take one ounce of honesty, which I feel like I get with him over somebody who has been trained to lie to my face every single day. And that's why I've always voted for Donald Trump because I feel like I at least can see what he's doing. 
and see what he wants. And he seems like a guy that has genuine connection with people. When people walk up to Donald Trump and actually have a conversation with him, he actually looks them in the eye and has a conversation. I know politicians. They don't do this stuff. Republicans, Democrats alike. They don't, they don't actually have genuine human emotion <laughs> or connection with people. But it seems like he does. And so that matters a lot to me as well. And that's why I feel like they hate him. They hate him. They hate the idea that this guy walked up to him and thought, he's my only chance to maybe stop the war, what's going on in Palestine, um, <laughs> in Israel. What are your thoughts on this? Why do the boomers have such a, a thing about World War III? They seem to be so excited about that. I think they fantasize about the idea of Russia being the new Nazi nuclear, you know, the, the new Nazi. Um, I would love to know. Why do you think Khabib is so quick to jump over and talk to Donald Trump about war? I think, I think this is like a big point and something to be thought about. That people, not even from our own country, think that Donald Trump is the only way for world peace in regions. And especially what's going on in Israel. I would love to know your thoughts on this. Uh, hope you have a good rest of your day. And uh, what, a, what a crazy, crazy, crazy time period we are all living in. That's <laughs> so crazy. Enjoy your Sunday, guys. Bye. 